I understand. Naiintindihan ko. Naiintindihan ko. Oh, hold on. Naiintindihan ko. Oh, this is a good one. Puede bang mahingi ang numero ng telefono mo? Okay, okay. I'm about that. What's up to all my Felicia's out there? Welcome to Back to My Channel. You're watching the Sydney Mason Show with your host, Sydney Mason. I'm especially excited today because I decided to try a new hairstyle. This is the hairstyle that my sister always wears. I'm feeling very Kara-esque today. <laughs> and so I thought, today, what would be a better day than today to start my new language journey than with my new look? Am I right? Am I right? Anyways, this is what's gonna happen today. Today is day one of learning Tagalog. Yeah! If you don't know what Tagalog is, it is the Filipino language, and if you don't know where the Philippines are, you can look it up. Tagalog has been one of the languages that I really want to learn, primarily because I am part Filipino. Secondly, because I've always wanted to go travel to the Philippines, and I was going to do so when I was in China, but obviously that didn't happen. And thirdly, because the Filipino language has a lot of Spanish history, so a lot of Spanish words coincide with Tagalog, and I think that my background in Spanish will help me persevere forward with this language. <laughs> So I want to take this Tagalog challenge to the next level. I want to see how much Tagalog I can learn in one week. Now one week is not a lot of time, but with all this free time on my hands, I want to push myself and see how much I can do. So what I'm going to do in order to learn this language is I'm going to dedicate three to four hours every day in order to crack down and get this language going. So what I've done is I have downloaded an app called it's called Nemo Tagalog, and it kind of works with you on words, pronunciation, even grammar points. So I'm really excited to learn that. I have got one of my handy dandy notebooks. I'm going to be writing down any words or phrases that I deem worthy to my language learning. So then the last hour, I'm going to be dedicating that to a Tagalog TV show or movie that I've been wanting to watch. And I'm just going to really just dig it in there and just try to get everything Tagalog. So I'm really excited to start this challenge and it could really be a 50-50, like it could be a super good at the end or it could just be a complete failure, but we're gonna try it anyways and I'm gonna take you guys along and see what ends up happening, okay? So day one is today. So I'm doing the online app that I was looking at and I'm gonna keep forth with that for a little bit. Yes. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Salamat. Excuse me. Mawalang galang na po. Mawalang galang na po. So this is the show I'm watching. It's called The One That Got Away. And I'm on episode two. today I've noticed already that there's a lot of Taglish which is Tagalog English I definitely saw that in the show I was watching and the other thing that I've noticed is that there's a lot of um, R sounds in Tagalog like the rolling R's like Rrr. so that helps because of my Spanish so I'm glad that I can roll my R's because there's a lot more than I was expecting hey guys welcome to day two so I'm currently in the middle of painting I'm about to paint my room and don't worry, during this time I'm gonna still be doing my little app right here. I've got my AirPods in and I'm just gonna be painting for a few hours. So let's do it. Okay, so we finished the wall. Looks like this. I really like it. I'm gonna do this one tomorrow, not today. <laughs> But anyways, I listened to my app for three hours today, just like hearing all the words and saying them out loud. And I think now what I'm gonna do is spend a little bit of time to write them down in my notebook. And then later tonight, I'm gonna do my hour of TV. So that's it from today. See you tomorrow. This little guy has been here the whole time. 
Magandang gabi. Day three, everybody. Welcome back. It's actually 4 p.m., so we are getting a late start to today. However, I am still gonna make time for my language learning. But I was listening to my app and I was noticing I wasn't really fully engaged in it, so I'm gonna go back and kind of listen to it right now and write down all those words. I think there's about 30 or 40 that I need to get done. And then today I kind of want to touch on some of the grammar points, but day three I really need to be kicking it up a notch. So I'm going to start off with some of my pronunciation words and just go from there. So let's do it. Spicy, hot. Ma'anghang. Ma'anghang. Many. Marami. Marami. Where is the bathroom? Saan ang banyo? Saan banyo? That's good. Mabuti yan. Mabuti yan. I love that word. So, I don't know if you guys noticed, but during when I was trying to learn these words, it's really about the pronunciation, I'm noticing. It's all like the ng and the, the ang no beto. It's just, and my mom does it the same way. Like, that's how my grandparents speak. Like, it's all coming together, people. I'm finally learning why my mom makes certain facial expressions. Anyways, that's what I'm gonna be trying to replicate, so I'm hoping that it sounds good. So what I ended up finding was some grammar prepositions today. There's a lot of other grammar rules, but over the next days I'm going to go over those. These are just the ones I wrote down today that seemed most helpful. And then I also found some rules to go with them. So it just lays out some rules with some practice sentences, which I find really helpful. I even saw a few Spanish words like puede. Um, I learned that dog is asshole. So that is it for day three. I will see you guys tomorrow for day four. And tonight I'm just gonna watch my Filipino show. I'm really Hello folks, day four has arrived and I've been honestly really tired. Yeah, that's all I can say. I've just, I don't know, today just like hit me and I'm just not really into learning Tagalog today but I'm gonna force myself because that's what you gotta do sometimes. Um, right now I'm learning negation in Tagalog, that's what I was writing down. I'm gonna try to get the rules and some sentences. Okay guys. <clears throat> what I've learned today is negation. And I learned a couple of words that I wanted to know, like French is Francaise which is cool. Um, learn some question words. Pa'ano, ano, sino, bakit, saan. I learned adverbs, which will probably be the most helpful for me. It's like, yesterday, quickly, slowly, together, very, like, always, those kinds of words. And last but not least, I did pronouns, and that one I kind of already knew, like I is ako. Um, but yeah, I'm just losing motivation. It's just one of those days, maybe tomorrow I'll wake up on the better side of the bed, but I don't know. I think today I just gotta just watch my show and just kind of go from there. Welcome to day five. I am feeling super jazzed today. Yesterday was a little rough, but today I was like, yes, I woke up. I'm like, yes, I'm gonna learn to hum Tagalog. So today, instead of feeling like how I did yesterday, I decided to learn food items because I love food. So why not learn something that you like? And it's crazy because I learned so many words that are literally the same in Spanish. They're just spelled differently. So like, for example, there's manzanas, um, mantequilla, Queso, uvas, carne, piña, and patatas. So 
that's just crazy to me. I already knew like half of these words. Um, so I like that. And then I learned some phrases. And so uh, you guys are gonna laugh so hard. I made up a little skit. It's my food related skit and I'm gonna perform it here for you. So let's just do this before I get too embarrassed and I can't do it. Uh, just so you know, I am one of the characters in the skit and the other one is Felice. Como está feliz? Ah, Sydney, como está poca yo? A no pan a tin? Ma buti na man. At kayo po? Ma buti na na u u how? Na u u how? Kaba? Hindi. Buta mako. Ano ang klaseng pagain ang gusto mo? Gusto ko ng keso, mga prutas, pero ayoko ayo ang saging. Ano? Masarap ang prutas na ito. Hmm. Ayos lang? Ubas? Oo. So, I hope you enjoyed that and <laughs> I hope my accent wasn't too bad. But I had so much fun writing this and it actually helped me by writing it down because I'm just saying it over and over in my head and yeah that's pretty much what I did today <laughs> okay yeah hey guys so welcome to day six today I am learning verbs and time I think this is gonna be by far the most important day for me because with verbs I will most likely be able to learn the present past future tense now, I have been putting this off, but honestly, I needed to learn a base in order to learn this. And I knew that this week-long process, it was going to be a trial and error kind of thing as well. But now, I am super excited to be learning these verbs. I just think it's going to really help my Tagalog and be able to understand sentences more as well as speak them. So, I'm just going to be working on that today. And... Tomorrow I want to do a big review kind of obviously it's my last day So I want to see how much I've learned how much I have obtained how much I haven't <laughs> And just kind of do a little walkthrough review with you guys I know I can't show you everything behind the scenes that I'm doing in order to kind of solidify it in my brain But I'm doing my best so I hope that you guys can see that and if you've made it to this part in the video Thanks for watching This, this is my little setup right now. It's not not too bad. This is the words I'm learning today, and I'm noticing that a lot of them are starting with sa and ending in ng, or uh, the ng sound. Um, so, and a lot of them also are in Spanish again, so it's great. Perfect. Okay, you guys, the days of the week in Tagalog and the months of the year are in Spanish. Like, they're spelled differently again, but they're the same. You got lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado. Oh, we got a different one. Lingo? It's kind of like domingo. So, I have been trying to learn the, the verbs. There's like 15. And I've got like most of them, but now I was trying to learn the past, present, and future, and they gave me a some examples. The only thing is there's only the slightest difference between each one. Between he understands me, he understood me, and he will understand me. There's very, very slight changes. It's like one letter. So I guess it's just something to memorize. I'm not sure if it works for all of them, so I'm going to do some more research. But if it does, then it doesn't seem like there's that much. So you just take the root word and you either add or subtract one word to it and keep the same ending. So basically I'll see you guys for day seven. Hello everybody and welcome to day seven. It is the end of our challenge. I can't even believe that it's been a week. It's just flown right by. Um, but as I said yesterday, today is going to be my review day and I have compiled everything I've learned so far. Um, basically, in reference to words and phrases and such, I learned about 300 and I tested myself this morning to see actually how much I have remembered of those 300 and I've got about 150. So, 
half of that. I'm not gonna lie, like that's just, that's just what I got from this week, 150 words. Not bad, not that good either. Um, and then the other thing is that I am on episode 17 of my show. 17, I know. I am not proud of this, but I couldn't sleep a couple nights ago and I binge watched like six hours of that show. So that's why I'm so far along. <laughs> it seems like I watch like three or four hours of it every day, but really it was just, you know, that, yeah. Anyways, really good show. I'm definitely gonna keep watching it. And my mom's friend, she's also Filipina, she recommended the show called Mag Caribal. So now I'm like, okay, well after I'm done with this one, I'm gonna watch that one for sure. But the real question is, am I fluent in Tagalog? The answer is absolutely not, <laughs> in no shape or form. But have I learned a lot? Yes. And did I find it fun? Yes. So I feel like those two things are the most important in the end of this. And I'm definitely gonna keep on this Tagalog streak. I wanna see now how much I can learn in two, three, four weeks, you know? So I definitely think it's gonna be something I'm gonna stay on top of, hopefully. And other than that, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm going to be having a lot more language videos coming your way. I got some French, some Spanish, maybe even a little Serbian lined up for you. So you can stay tuned for those. And I will see you guys in the next video. Maraming salamat po. Paalam.